All right, so as promised, I wanted to show you guys how to get started with Pi Game Zero. So to do that, uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna start building the basics of a Galaga game. So if uh, if you don't know Galaga, check it out. Take a look uh, at a YouTube video. It's an old classic arcade game, um, uh, and so. Right now, what I've got, you, uh, I've, I've just created a Galaga.py file, and um, in there, I've, I've put it inside of a directory called Galaga, and you should always have also inside that an images folder, a folder that's named images, and you need that because the Pygame Zero library is going to look for that directory, okay? In there, you want to put any images that you create for your game all right i use pngs because uh they're really they have uh they're really good they've got transparency which is what we want so that way if they are overlapping um you don't see a box around them and uh and so here let's start to begin with we need to import pgz run okay and then at the very bottom of our code we're going to put pgzrun.go. All right, so we're going to call the go method of pgzrun. We need that so that uh, to, as we're testing it out and running it, we don't need to run it from a command line. Um, we can just uh, build it right here, and it will create a new window for us, um, the size that we need it, and, and specify, and it will it'll just run. Okay. Now, the next thing we want to do is specify how big of our window do we want. So, uh, we, I'm going to make a variable width equal to 400 and height equal to 600. You can, of course, make that whatever size you want, but that, those are built-in variables to Pygame Zero. And so, just by creating those variables, it's going to recognize that and know that, all right, I'm going to make a window that size. Now, if I save this and run it, I believe it should make a, full, a window exactly that size. Let's see what happens. And there we go. We've got a window, 400 by 600. Beautiful. Okay. Now, I might want to make it a little bit bigger after on, after, later on, but uh, that's fine. Now, to uh, let's start by getting our ship in there, okay? So, to do that, I'm going to make uh, a variable. Maybe I'll just call it ship, and I'm going to make it equal to actor. So, actor is a built-in object in Pygame Zero, and uh, it allows us. this allows us to make an instance of that with all of the properties that an actor object has with it. And it has a whole bunch of um, optional parameters. So the first one is our image file. So we can specify what image we want uh, this actor object to use. Now in my images folder, I'm going to just going to use Galaga. Now you might want to put, you might think you need to put Galaga.png, but actually all we need to do is put Galaga. It doesn't actually matter what image um, type it is or what extension file it is. Um, it could be a GIF, it could be a JPEG, it could be a PNG. It the library is already set to look for any image file that has that name before the extension and it'll recognize what kind of extension on what it is on its own and load it up. So that's really nice. We can put it wherever we want. Um, so that's, I'm actually gonna stop there and just leave it with just Galaga. And now I'm going to set its XY position. So let's put it in, let's say the bottom very center all right, so now to get to the center, I'm going to specify x, x is a built-in uh, variable to every actor object, and I'm going to make it equal to width uh, divided by 2. I did a double slash so that we can make sure that ship.x is going to be an integer, okay? Um, if I don't do a double slash, then it could be a decimal if uh, we change our width to be um, a number where when we divide it by 2, it'll be a decimal. 
by having the double slash we'll ensure that it's rounded after we divide and will be an integer now to get our y value i want it to always be at the bottom so uh, i'm going to make it equal to height which will put it right at the bottom of the screen minus mm, let's say 60. okay now we we could run it now and even though that object will probably be at that location um, I don't believe we're gonna see anything it's still a black window because we haven't told it to draw anything yet so let's do that we need to now uh, I'm gonna create an update actually let's start I'll do that afterwards let's do a draw method um, or function now this is again another built-in function and what I'm doing is I'm overwriting um, it it will recognize that there is a draw function uh, created and it's going to call it every frame okay so def draw so I'm going to start by going screen screen dot clear that's a def that's something you want to do every time um, so that when we move objects over time we don't see ghosts or duplicates of where it was before it gets cleared and then it will draw all of the objects in their new locations wherever they are and so after we've cleared the screen now i'm going to go ship dot draw okay and let's just see what that does and there we go we've got galga down here now You'll probably notice my Galaga image is quite big. So um, I might want to resize that, or I might want to just resize my screen for now uh, to compensate. So uh, why don't I go ahead and let's make this maybe 1200 by 1000. Let's see what that does for us. That's bigger. Oh, and there we go. Now we're uh, we're getting we're getting somewhere. Okay. Now you, this is pretty boring to start with. We don't have any movement. So uh, for the rest of this video, um, I'm going to get the ship moving left and right, and uh, and then I'll I'll stop there, and uh, we'll add in some more interactions in the next video. Now to get the them moving. We're going to create another function called update. All right, so this is again a, a, a function that's going to be called every frame. All right, and this is where Pygame Zero is so easy compared to Pygame. Uh, we don't have to iterate through an events list, which we had to do in, in uh, Pygame. Instead, we can write a simple if statement. All right, and so let's say I want to move, have, the Gal have Galga move left when we were push holding the, the left keyboard um, arrow, right? We can simply do if keyboard dot left. And that's it. Super simple. And what do we want to have happen when we do that? We're gonna make ship dot x minus equal one. We'll start with one. It's prob we're probably gonna want to increase that, um, but let's try it for now and uh, see how slow it is so now i'm going to do if keyboard right we just want the opposite plus equals one let's run that so now we've got galga there i go left and i can go right obviously it is really slow so let's increase that let's maybe make it five um, I also noticed that he's still a little low, so I'm going to go minus 100. Let's try that. There he goes. That's a bit better. All right. And that's it for this video. We've got the basics of creating a window. Uh, we've got our images drawing and we've got some basic movement in the next video I'm going to uh, show you how to get him shooting and, uh, and Then we're going to throw an enemy in there and get it moving on its own All right, thanks and see you on the other one